many times I've read the Bible and I've uh, looked into marriage and celibacy. When I say this is in scripture, people think I'm crazy, but it definitely is. I made some videos about it, but uh, marriage is for people who cannot abstain from sex. God prefers that all of us be celibate, okay? Unless it has something to do with procreation or something like that. So marriage is for people who lack self-control in the sexual department. And when I tell people that, they're like, oh my God, what, what? Like you, you tripping. No, nah, that's what marriage is for. If you read the Bible enough, you've seen it plenty of times. But um, a lot of people choose celibacy for personal reasons. Here are some pros and cons that I came up with associated with celibacy. So um, the pros of celibacy. I know a lot of people want to know, <laughs> you know, what are the pros of celibacy? Personal growth. Celibacy can allow individuals to focus on personal growth and self-discovery. I feel like that is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Being able to focus solely on who I am as a person and not necessarily worried about what some dude thinking about me, what some dude won't, you know, <laughs> I don't got time to even be thinking about that because I'm working on myself. Um, there's no distractions or complexities uh, associated with having sex or anything like that. So my mind is like focused on me as an individual, not sharing any energy with anybody, not having any like soul tie or anything. So it's like really just me focused on myself, who I am as a person. And the more I focus on myself the more I become a better person and it's like dope you know like so I think um a lot of people who feel like they can't do it I think you just <laughs> lack a little bit of uh, self-discipline um spiritual development is another reason why people choose celibacy uh for those who practice celibacy for religious or spiritual reasons it can be a means of deepening their connection to their faith or spiritual practice it did it does bring you closer to god or whatever it is that you have a belief in because you're spending more time with you know reading a bible or prayer or meditation or a fellowship at your church or whatever you're spending more time you know, focused on your relationship with your higher power. So it, it builds a, a greater connection. It's just like any other relationship you have, even if you was to have a relationship with another human being, that's a pro. Um, the avoidance of STDs and unplanned pregnancies by abstaining from sexual relations, individuals eliminate the risk of sexually transmitted infections and unplanned pregnancies. That is amazing. <laughs> now abortion is illegal. You don't have to keep uh, getting the side effects of taking plan B's or you don't have to end up uh, being a single mother or you don't have to end up playing child support for a child that you don't necessarily want that you had with a woman that you didn't even love because you were sitting up here having a casual sex just off a whim because you felt like being touched. You know, you don't have to worry about that when you decide to be celibacy. You also avoid heartbreak and emotional pain. Celibacy can protect individuals from emotional pain and heartbreak that can sometimes come with sexual relations. Yeah, a lot of that happens to a lot of people. We can look on social media and see that heartbreak is the number one thing that people are talking about most of the time. All y'all talking about, everybody want to be a dating coach now, which is odd to me. Like everybody think they're like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> in a good position to be advising everybody as far as relationships go. If you're not a life coach, a therapist, a counselor or something like that, you might want to pipe down on giving everybody advice because I'm telling you, we can learn a lot from a, a lot of people, some good stuff, but it's hard to decipher or who's giving good advice and who's giving bad advice when everybody's saying something negative. <laughs> it's like most people saying some negative shit as far as uh, advice goes, as far as relationships go. Keep the conversation going and join the Black Macho Discord now.